Hello, my name is Ruth Charles. Many of you probably already know me from my book, The Fogodistonia Cure. Today I'm going to read an excerpt from chapter three of the book. But this is, and this is the first exercise that you'll find in the book. So I wanted to record it, and I'm going to read it from the book so that um, you have the opportunity, if you wish, to just to be able to be guided through the exercise, you can do so using this video. So I'm going to read the introduction to the exercise, and then we'll go straight ahead into doing it. This is a highly practical exercise that is designed to give you many different benefits. The first is to repair and increase your interoceptive sensitivity, as I have already talked about. I will refer to the other benefits throughout the book. Some people find this exercise easy, enjoyable and deeply connecting to do. I hope that you do too. However, it is also true that for people who have developed a long-term dissociative relationship with their physical body, the exercise can be very challenging. Remember that this dissociation is a natural response to the continued survival mode and its hyper or hypo activation in your nervous system. If this is the case for you, I would like you to be really compassionate with and caring towards yourself. It is not that something is wrong with you or that you are not doing it right, nor is it that you don't know how to do it. It is just that the level of activation in your nervous system is too high for you to access the exercise. Therefore, if you find it too difficult to connect with the exercise or if it is too activating for you to do so, reach out for support. Even so, I still wholeheartedly encourage you to practice the exercise each day. This is because by simply doing the exercise the best way you can and with constancy, you will begin to connect with yourself and master the exercise a little bit at a time. It is important that you don't confuse this exercise with, guided, with the guided relaxation exercises. It is distinctly different. Our objective is not to relax the body, mind or emotions, although some people do find the exercise very relaxing. Our objective is to come back into inhabiting the body just the way that it is. It is to feel the body from the inside with all its tensions, contractions, oppressions, openness, relaxation and freedom. It is to feel it just the way it is without trying to change anything. One of the human, one of the common human experiences is to grasp onto what feels pleasant and push away what feels painful or uncomfortable. However, if we come back to the very beginning of this book and Rumi's beautiful poem, The Guest House, we want to welcome in everything just as it is. This means that as you practice the exercise, you are also practicing how to be in a still presence with everything that you feel equally, the pleasant sensations and the unpleasant ones. As we get ready to begin the exercise, Find a time and place where you feel comfortable and won't be disturbed for about 20 minutes. You might like to record yourself reading the exercise as well if you prefer to do it listening to your own voice. Once you become practiced and experienced with it and can feel into it well, you may prefer to go through it without any guidance. This opens you up to more opportunity to follow your own inner wisdom and intuition and to go at your own place, pace. Do what's best for you. You can do the exercise sitting or lying down. And as stated, you can do each part of it when you are ready. Many people at the beginning find it easiest to do it lying down, either on their bed 
on a sofa or even on the floor in a yoga mat or rug. You will start by bringing your attention to your feet. Put equal attention into both feet simultaneously. You want to really inhabit your feet and feel them from the inside. Go inside them as I direct sensory experience of everything that is there right now in this moment. This is an exercise of inhabiting with complete self-acceptance. So whatever you find there right now is perfect for right now. It may be different from yesterday and tomorrow it may be different again. But we are in the here and now. So just feel into being inside. Be present with being inside your feet, just as they are. Include every detail of the direct experience that you're having right now. You might become aware of the surface level of the feeling. Then there is also the inside feeling. As you continue to do this exercise over the weeks and months, you will become more aware of all the details of how your feet feel on the inside. You may even feel and distinguish your skin, your bones, your muscles, your ligaments, your tendons, blood vessels, nerve endings and so on. If you're unable to feel this level of detail yet, that is also perfect for you right now. Accept your experience just as it is. When you are ready, you're going to slowly move up to include your ankles as well. So come inside your ankles and be completely present with the direct experience of them, just the way they are. Be present to all the details that you find there, from the inside out. Be aware of the three-dimensional experience of being inside your feet and ankles. Take all the time you need here. And only when you feel ready, you're going to move up to include your lower legs. Your calves, your shins, the inside of the lower leg and the outside. Once again, having this three-dimensional experience, go right into the centre of your lower legs and your ankles and your feet. Inhabit them. Be present inside them just the way they are right now with everything that you find. Include with gentleness everything that is there. So 
Some people find it very difficult to connect with their body in this way. And they find that it helps to move the parts of the body that they are feeling into. Others find that they can have a feeling of filling their body up, starting with their feet, as though they are filling it up with a warm liquid. It helps them to start to have a sense of the three-dimensionality of their body. Take all the time you need and only go as far as you can. We can take all the time in the world with this exercise. It is important to do it regularly, preferably daily, and allow yourself the time, be it days, weeks, or even months, to connect with your physical body in this integrated way. If and when you feel ready to continue, include your knees as well. The fronts of your knees, the backs of your knees, the inside leg parts of your knees, and the outside, and feeling right into the center, into this three dimensions of your knees. Add that awareness and presence to the direct experience of your feet, your ankles and your lower legs. Your intention is to place your attention equally on both sides of your body, feeling the left foot, lower leg and knee with equal awareness as the right. If, and when you feel ready, you're going to continue up to your thighs, feeling your right and left thigh simultaneously, with equal awareness. If you're unable to do so, if one side of your body feels more present than the other, accept this gently as your experience right now and feel what it feels like. There is no need to change it. Just be present to what you feel in just the way that you feel it. There are no right or wrong feelings or sensations with this exercise. We are practicing to feel what is there just as it is and accepting it just as it is. It is the guest that we are welcoming into our house with an open heart and willingness to listen to it, even if its message is discomfort. Add your experience of your thighs to everything else that you are feeling. Once again, open yourself to it being a three-dimensional direct experience of being completely present and inhabiting your body. Do so on the surface level and right down into the center. I purposefully say to open yourself to the experience. There is no trying you need to do here. 
just let go and drop into whatever is there. Trying to do this exercise is like trying to remember a name. The more you try, the more it eludes you. It is when you let go of trying that the name spontaneously pops into your brain. If and when you are ready, bring your attention to your pelvic area and here, as well as muscles, tendons, ligaments, blood vessels, nerves and bones, you begin to find your organs. So as you add on to this experience and the whole of your pelvic area, be aware of it all or as much of it as you can be. Sometimes we also find that we have blanks or areas of the body that we have no access to feeling. If that's the case, that is also fine. It is your experience right now, the experience that you are including. Over time, as you practice this exercise, you will find that those blanks start to be filled in and you begin to gain access to the physical experience of being inside this area of your body too. So just for now, if you do find any blanks anywhere as we continue this exercise, just let them be and experience them as part of your experience in the here and now. Just take your time and continue to include everything up until now. Feel with equal awareness, if you can, the left and right side of your body at the same time. You may find you can feel the bones of your hips and from there move your attention inwards to fill up the whole of your pelvic bulb. That's it. If and when you are ready, continue moving up your body, adding your experience of your lower back, your abdomen, and the sides of your body at this level. The surface experience and the inner experience. You may even find that you can experience the sense of your spinal column and how it runs right down into your pelvic area, right down to your coccyx. Take your time to feel into 
and be completely present in this part of your body, just as it is. Feel what you find, just as you find it. Whether your experience is pleasant, comfortable or uncomfortable. When, and if you are ready, you're going to move up into your middle and upper back, your rib cage, sides and front, your sternum, your collarbones, shoulders, and shoulder blades. And then feel inside to your diaphragm, your heart, and your lungs. Include this experience and inhabit this area of your body as well, just the way it is. If there are areas or sensations that are less comfortable, include them too. Invite them with gentleness to be part of who you are and include them just the way they are. When you are ready, come into your shoulder joints and upper arms. Here there are triceps on the back and biceps on the front, as well as the inside and outside arm. Feel right into the centre of this three-dimensional experience, coming into being right inside and experiencing your body from the inside. That's it. Add to this, add this to your awareness of all the other parts of your body that you have already visited and be present with them all at the same time. Include your elbows when you are ready. 
Remember, there is an inside and outside part of your elbows. Then include your lower arms, your wrists, your hands, and your fingers. You might even become aware that your fingers run right up through your hands on the inside. The fingers go straight up to your wrists. Feel everything together. Feel the whole of your body, everything you're aware of to this point. With this latest part, as you become aware of your lower arms, wrists and hands, feel with equal awareness if you can, the left and right sides of your body simultaneously. When you are ready, we are going to include your neck. This includes the sides of your neck, the back of your neck, and your throat. You want to be present inside your neck, throat, spinal column, and the muscles and soft tissues that you can feel. Inhabit it, just the way it is, with whatever you find. All is welcome here, with this gentle awareness and presence. There you go. Now include your head, scalp and cranium into your awareness. Feel into your brain and brainstem as it runs up from your spinal column. You may even become aware of your entire spinal column and the whole of your central nervous system running from your brainstem and to your coccyx. 
You may or may not be aware of it, but it's there. Then come up and fill all of your brain, including the lower part, the middle, top, front, and right into the center. Feel it all at once with the rest of your body. As you do that, you will also include the rest of your face, forehead, eyes and eye sockets, the roof of your mouth and your nose, along with the outside and inside parts of your nose. Then include your cheeks, your jaw, your chin, the outsides and insides of your ears. Your mouth the inside of your cheeks, the roof of your mouth, your teeth and gums, the floor of your mouth and your tongue. You may feel where your tongue begins, right at the back of your throat, right at the back where your throat turns into your mouth. Feel your lips where they touch your teeth, as well as the outside of them. Feel your jaw from the joint where it joins to your skull. And then along the whole length of the jaw, on the right and left to your chin. Keep your entire presence inside this direct experience of your body. Focus on the left and right with equal attention, if that is possible. That's it.
Just spend the time that you desire here, attuned to yourself and all the physical parts that you are and the way they are. Let yourself be just the way you are, accepting everything that you find. Nothing needs to change. Everything is just right and just as it is in the here and now. When you are ready to come back, you can slowly begin to move your fingers and your toes. You can even make little circles with your hands and feet. First in one direction. And then in the other. If you want to stretch, do it and be aware of your breath. You might like to take several deep breaths. Gradually become more aware of the space around you, the room you're in, and the sounds and temperature. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes and come back into the here and now. If you're lying down, slowly sit up. Move with gentleness, and as you move, remain aware of how your body feels on the inside. Gradually become aware of the world around you, maintaining the same level of connection to and awareness of your body. Include the world around you as you continue inhabit to inhabit your body and look out of your eyes, hear through your ears and feel through your skin into this connection with yourself. That's it. Welcome back. I recommend that you find some time to do this exercise every day. It is one of the most powerful ways of being more attuned to yourself. Remember, this is one of the critical and key parts of your focal dystonia resolution. All of the people I have worked with, who, those who do this exercise daily and joyfully, are the ones who progress most quickly and smoothly to a full dystonia resolution. As they look back on their process, they find it to have been the best investment of their time. I hope that you enjoy this exercise and that it brings you comprehension and connection to yourself. Thank you.